Hello. Here's a brilliant book. Perfectly Norman by Tom Percival. It's fab. It's absolutely fab. Let's go. Are we ready? There's Norman. Norman had always been normal. Perfectly normal. Until one day he grew a pair of wings. Look at those. Whoosh. He looked a bit surprised. I think I might be too. Norman had imagined growing taller or growing a beard like his dad. But he had never imagined growing a pair of wings. Still, and they were here now, so he decided to test them out right away. Whoosh! Look at that. Awesome. Soon, Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun ever. I would love a pair of wings. Don't know about you, but I think you might. But then, dinner, the little speech bubble coming down here, dinner. He had to go in for dinner. You see, Norman had always been so normal. He didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings. As he went in, Norman covered himself up in a great big coat. His parents didn't notice the wings, but they did think it was a, a little odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Bath time was problematic. So was bedtime. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings. Ever. The next day, Norman went to the park but he was far too hot to play any of his favourite games. And so it went on. Long car journeys were unbearable. The swimming pool was dreadful, and that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. Why is he embarrassed of his wings. It can't be because they don't look nice. I mean, they're beautiful, aren't they? Why is he embarrassed about them? The only time that Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. One day, a boy tried to pull his coat off and Norman had to run away, hot-faced, angry and sad. He wished he'd never grown those stupid wings. Now, quick. Is it the wings that are the problem? Is it the wings that are making him miserable. Here's something else. Imagine you knew about the wings. Somehow you knew he had some wings under his coat. What would you say to Norman to try and persuade him to take that coat off? Imagine you had to write him a letter. Dear Norman, 
What would you say? Anyway, here he is, looking very unhappy, blaming those stupid wings. Then, he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, not the wings. Aha, so there we go. Why don't you take that tatty old thing off, suggested mum and dad. Norman looked up at them hesitantly. His parents smiled and nodded. Norman smiled back. Then he threw off the coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. Look at that. Beautiful. And now look at his face. What a change. Norman leapt into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. He noticed a few other children wearing thick, heavy coats of their own. They looked up at Norman and round at each other nervously. There was a moment's pause and then whoosh! Look at that. Whoosh! The sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never felt so happy. Look at that, I love this picture. Look at them flying around, great big wings, great big smiles. Lovely. He realized that there was no such thing as perfectly normal, but he was perfectly normal, which was just as it should be. B. There he is, celebrating, being himself, different, unique, wonderful. Good old Norman. All right, I told you it was good. Told you it was good, didn't I? It's brilliant. Perfectly Norman by Tom Ursible. All righty. So, Norman felt embarrassed by his wings. He wanted to hide them. I wondered if you've ever felt embarrassed by something. I mean, something about yourself, perhaps. And have tried to hide it. And how did hiding it make you feel? Perhaps... You're still keeping something secret. But if you did share your worry or whatever it was you were embarrassed about, what happened? Was it okay in the end? For Norman, everything turned out all right. He plucked up the courage to be himself. And that made him happier. I wonder if you have had similar experiences. And have you ever noticed that sometimes it's the worries that are the problem, not the thing you're worrying about. Sometimes if you can be anxious or feel anxious about something, that anxiety, that worry, can be worse than the thing you're worrying about. I don't know, maybe that's not something that you've experienced, perhaps it is. It's worth talking about, worth thinking about. One last thing.
when I was reading the story, I, 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 I suggested, what would you say to Norman when he's wearing the coat? How might you persuade him to take the coat off? If you had a a worry that you hadn't shared, if you had something that was upsetting you or making you feel anxious that you hadn't shared, what could you do? What could you do? Or perhaps a friend of yours has something that makes them worried or makes them feel anxious, something that is really bothering them. What could you do? What could you do to change that? All right, that's enough from me. Perfectly Norman, Tom Percival. Love this. Bye for now.